Um, so we wanted to kind of give everyone um, an update and I guess more some closure um, as we've been getting some closure ourselves. Um, for those of you that we haven't been able to tell personally, um, we did confirm that we are losing the baby. Um, it hasn't passed yet, um, but there's no doubt that it will. So um, I think what we just wanted to share was just how important this experience has been for us, not just because it's a difficult thing to go through, but um, from the beginning, like when we made that announcement with DJ and Rebecca, we knew that this was a possibility. Um, we had no knowledge for sure by any means, but we definitely knew it was a possibility. And we wanted to announce it anyway, because we really believe that like every life matters and that um, children are a gift and they come from God. And we wanted our child, however long their life may be, to be able to share Christ's love in some way. And so um, we took that step, but also because I don't think people talk about this stuff enough. I don't think people, they're, they're afraid of making people uncomfortable. And I think that's just silly because everything we've seen from this experience demonstrates that like people come together when times are tough. Like we need each other and that people want to talk about it. Like they want to share their story. They want to know that they're not alone. And we have never felt alone for a minute in this experience um, because of the support we've received. It's just been overwhelming and wonderful. And I have a whole list of people I need to write. Like I, I can't even tell you the number, it's so long. Um, and I think it's important that we do share these experiences with one another because that's literally what we're here for. Um, and I, you know, for any of the pain that I've experienced, the joy of seeing the body of Christ come together and to be able to be a part of it has been just like, I don't know, I don't have words. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was a, I mean, it's weird to say, but it was a pretty um, great experience for us. Um, knowing that there were issues, but still deciding to share that we were pregnant. And then when things started happening, like having people rally around you and not knowing what's gonna happen and having people like, hey, you know, I know you're waiting and we're waiting with you. Like, hey, you tell me what's going on and I'm not gonna give up until you tell me that this is done type of a thing. Like people have said the most perfect things at the, at the most perfect time. And, and that's been amazing. And for us, we're excited because we got to be part of this. This isn't something that um, everyone gets to be part of and we feel blessed to, share in this experience and this opportunity um and it's like dj and rebecca and Lindsay and i were all pregnant at the same time it's so cool um we got to experience things that many people haven't been able to experience with people that they live with the people that are in their church and and just because we lost this baby doesn't mean we might not have another baby and it doesn't mean that like i'm not dad number two to dj and rebecca's child and Lindsay's not mom number two right um are moving forward you know like we still are going to be with them at their ultrasounds we're still going to be with them um when they have their kid you know we're still going to raise this kid as if it's our own and i think that's like the beauty that we can find in this situation too is um just how the the body of christ works together and we are saddened at what happened but we also find I don't know, excitement and the opportunities that we get to share with the people around us. And they're some of the most important people to us that are around us. So we are pumped and excited and looking forward to sharing in their experience with them um, just as a church and looking forward to what God has in store for us in the future. Um, so moving forward, um, just be excited for us, be excited for them because we are all so excited um, and if there's anything you can pray for, just pray that Lindsay completes the rest of this process and it goes very smooth um, and that God will still get glory and that even though our baby is not here anymore, that our baby can still be a light um, in unique ways as it has been. Um, but I think that's all we have. Yeah, I just, and I don't know, like, 
I just, it's so funny because everyone's like, well, you know, how are things like with DJ and Rebecca? Like, how do you guys feel? And it's like, I am like, my pain cannot take away the joy of others. And, you know, like their child is no replacement for ours because they're a totally separate, unique individual that will be loved. And we're going to be their very first aunties and uncle. And that's what we call them here in Hawaii. Sorry. <laughs> and I think that like being able to do this as a community, like to grieve together and yet to have joy together has been such a beautiful thing and so good for our relationship and our church community. And, um, and I hope that it encourages other people that, like I said, like the joys and sorrows in life are best shared. Like this is, this is literally what God's people are here for. And I just hope that our story can be a testimony to you of the power of people doing life together and just how blessed we have been with such great people. I mean, and the fact that many of you are those people, you know, like, I hope you know that like watching this, it's, it's just such a great thing. I don't know. It's yeah. like hard because I, there's so much sadness, but like, I don't know the joy of seeing God at work. It, that is irreplaceable. Yeah. We can't replace you guys. We can't replace we just feel thankful yeah. that everyone that has been part of this DJ and Rebecca are here my brother was here when that happened my other brother Levi lives here we had people sending Marco Polos people sending love messages money money um, gifts um, words of encouragement it's been a blessing and we can't replace that and to have it any other way I don't know if I would have it any other way so we want to say we love you guys and we hope this is an encouragement to you um that this is what the body of Christ can look like. So, see ya. Thanks.